officially time to move out of the shop already. It's crazy. We literally just got this space, but today we are officially moving out of it. Yeah, we got all this stuff, all my stock wheels, stock parts. Already moving out, huh? Yeah. On, on to bigger and better things. almost have everything out of here we just have stock exhaust parts and Danny's old wheels on his FRS almost there guys Check it out. Now you probably are wondering, I thought you moved out. Yes, we did move out of the first location. We just moved into another unit in the same complex, but a much bigger unit. Now this is huge. The first one, I didn't really work out of it a lot because there was very limited space. Um, but this one just became available. And once I saw it in person, I was like, yo, I need to hop on this because it's like such a big difference. So in video, it may not look like that big of a difference, but dude, this is so much wider. Now this is like kind of just like the only unit that has like an open space right here. Dude, it's so much wider. Like literally the old unit was literally just like right here to the wall. And just having this extra space right here actually enables us to work on our cars. Like literally there's so much more room now. One factor on why I didn't work out of the first unit that much is because it made it hard to like take the wheels off and stuff on cars. But this space is so much wider and we are literally only paying like, I think 70 bucks more than the previous one. It is a small place, but I really want to use it as a stepping stone, you know, to get into an even bigger shop. It gives us a taste of what it's like to kind of evolve. You know, we're starting off super small. You know, eventually I would love to work up to an even bigger shops. I think it's cool how it's like a little mini upgrade and I don't know, we just really get to see what it's like having a small space, a medium sized space, and um, hopefully in the future, an even larger space. Uh, so it's nice, it kind of gives us a little of appreciation of you know, how things start and you know, like where we will end up. All right, so my neighbor told me to get in his little Can-Am. Yeah. What's up, dude? What's up, bro? <laughs> How do you get in this thing? Oh, right here? Damn. It's cold right now, but it's okay. Oh. Servo? Oh, yeah. Damn. I've never been in one of these. Damn, I got the speakers? Oh, yeah, bro. Jeez. Uh, F1. F1 music. Shadows are wow. Gimme, gimme, Dude, that sounds good. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Crazy. Oh my god. I literally never experienced something like that. <laughs> I kid you not, that brought freaking tears in my eyes. <laughs> like I couldn't see, bro. Literally whipping that thing around the freaking parking lot. That's insane. Yeah, these are crazy. These are like 30,000 plus brand new. 35. 35? Yeah, it's stock. This, one, like, this car right now is stock, so wow. the people use the conversion E85 Ooh, more spare really? power, oh, yeah. more everything, you know, but right now this car is stock. Yeah? Yeah. 
If you guys saw last video, I was talking about it's like opportunity, this opportunity came up and how I met this guy. It's actually the guy that I just showed, you know, with the Can-Am, with all the ATVs. Um, so I randomly met him in like the front office. I don't know, we just started chatting about the cars, the BRZ and the FRS were there. And he was just so excited. It was just like one of those things where it's like, I believe it was not a coincidence. Like we both crossed paths at the same time. And we just started like chatting and it just eventually turned into him mentioning that this used to be his shop. So he actually moved as well. He actually had like two units, I think, and he dropped this one. So he told me, he's like, yo, this unit is much better for what you do. You know, there's more space to work on cars and stuff. And it was just like crazy. It was like, if I never met this dude, I would have never known, you know what I mean? It's just like one of those things where I feel like timing is everything. Like, dude, like every single thing that happens in life happens for a reason. It was just meant to be. It sounds super dramatic, but I feel like it was just meant to be that we crossed paths and like it just enabled this opportunity to get a space that I actually wanted to begin with. You know, a space that I can comfortably work on the cars in. And um, yeah, I mean, on camera, it probably doesn't look that much, but in person, this is like literally all we wanted. I think we're gonna like get, you know, toolboxes. I'm probably gonna bring my quick jacks from home and put them in here. Literally whatever we've been doing at the home garage, we can now do in here. So I'm super excited. I think we're gonna get some like shelving and like I said, a toolbox probably in that corner. And we can actually use this as like a functioning shop. So that's like the biggest part right there. Our old shop was literally like this wall right here cut right here so like i was literally barely able to take my wheels off it was just such a cramped space but this with this little like curve makes literally the biggest difference ever you know it isn't a freaking big old warehouse that you know like you guys see on youtube all the time like other youtubers but this is nice you know for the price it can get the job done and like i said it is a stepping stone you guys can see you know on youtube you know i document it all how i evolved from a super small space to now an even bigger one and then hopefully sometime soon an even bigger shop so once we get some shelving i definitely want to throw all this stuff high up and um kind of just get it out of the way and make it look neater i was talking to my neighbor you know the one with the canam that i just showed you uh he actually built like a custom little loft so i was actually thinking about it we can even do like a loft you know like a little stairway or ladder and we can have like a couch up top uh, something like, you know, a shop usually has like a warehouse, but yeah, there's endless options. Like I'm so excited because I actually am motivated to work in this thing now. It's actually functional. You know, there's enough space to do whatever. I guess officially we can call this a shop. I feel like the other one was more like a storage unit, but this is giving more shop vibes and uh, I'm so hyped. I'm just so happy to be able to document this for you guys. It's cool too, cause I feel like our other unit was next to like the street. So a lot of people can like see inside like what we're doing, all the cars. But this is like so low key, like aside from the landscaper over there, like <laughs> it's so quiet back here. There's just so much space. Like look, we got all this parking, all the homies can come through and uh, they can just like park up and we can chill here. Such a nice little secluded area in the back corner. So uh, yeah, we just got the FRS <laughs> casually posted in the middle. Just wanted to document our little move in day. I know we've kind of been here already, but Moving into the new shop now. That's so sick, I get to call it kind of a shop. Lots of stuff I have planned. Definitely gonna fix the lighting. I really wanna do some lighting on the sides. Make it super freaking nice in here. Just make it a full on vibe, you know, for videos and just pictures and content. But yeah guys, smash the like button for the little shop upgrade. My neighbor is at his shop right now too. I might bug him. And I kind of want to try one of his ATVs. I told him before, like, if he could teach me. And he said it's just like a car, you know, they're all manual. So if he's at his shop, I'm going to bug him and I'm going to be like, yo, can I take one of your ATVs? <laughs> but yeah, we are in the FRS today. The blow up house is crazy. Sounds like a freaking airplane just like idling on the runway. It sounds insane. Honestly, I've been driving the FRS like every day for like a week now. Before it kind of just sat after SEMA. It's so nice like being behind the wheel of this thing again because 
it's just like bringing me back to when this was the only car I ever had and I would drive this thing every day and it's just such a vibe like this is just like old times like getting hopping in the FRS uh, hearing all the sounds and stuff so I've been loving it to be honest we'll do a little pull over here hear all the supercharger sounds Seriously, no issues. This car has been pretty much a breeze ever since it's supercharged. Yeah, we got Danny pulling up to the shop. I'm actually gonna show him first time what it looks like. What's up, bro? How you doing? One time, let, let's go to the riding, off-road riding. I'm down, I'm down. And you, for you, uh, record. Yeah, guys, this is Joam, my neighbor. Say what's up. <laughs> He's the one that has all the sick freaking toys. He got all the ATVs. That was crazy last night, dude. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> this thing is so fast. He actually has a... A ruckus. He said he got this thing made in Thailand. So he shipped it all the way from Southern California all the way to Thailand. And these are actually wheels from a car. So he said he put about, I think, like 15K worth of money just in this to like make it look like that. So freaking cool. But dude, these are like all his toys. So much money in these. I think he was saying like 15 to 20K. So these things get expensive just in mods. And There's a little language barrier guy, so I'm here to here to translate right now. No traigas esas chanclas. Okay. So he said not to not to have those crocs on when you do it. Sport mode. Ah, okay, okay. Sport mode. Sport mode. <laughs> gas bro he said next time just don't be scared to give it gas bro yeah. like it's not gonna like it's a racing like motor you know to, like shoot back like, you know what nah, I mean? we straight That was so freaking fun. That was like a first for me trying a manual ATV. I really want to get into dirt bikes, but I don't know. After riding the ATV, I felt that'd be sick. It's more like easier, obviously, because it's four wheels. But I told him and he told me he's down to like kind of help me build one. I just got to find like a, like a stock one. Uh, I don't know if I want to go like too crazy, like something like this. Like this is like 15K plus <laughs> all the mods and everything. But I kind of want just like a simple, basic one. Maybe something like this. Nothing too crazy. Just something to like, I don't know, have fun in, like ride. I'm not going to be like racing them like these. Like these, these are literally like pro racing ATVs. Um, but nah, that was fun. Definitely want to jump into a dirt bike or ATV. I don't know if you guys heard, but it's kind of like the same, co same concept since it's a manual. 
that's the clutch. Um, I believe that is the shifter, that little black bar. And then the throttle is that little thing you put your thumb on. So it's the same concept as a car, like manual, like clutch, throttle and stuff. But yeah, last night before I kind of closed up the shop, I moved the car to kind of where it would be in the other shop. And this is kind of like a better idea. How much wider this thing is so much better. Like you can literally walk in here, open the door freely. So much better. I was just thinking about it last night. Like I was just kind of reflecting. Kind of when everybody, when Jason left the shop, I was there by myself processing all my thoughts, you know. It was just like one of those moments where I was like, damn, like it's like perfect for like, everything that i do you know like obviously having a bigger shop would be much more beneficial and like you know more spaces like obviously better but just for the moment like it just like worked out so well and i was just like so freaking happy with like how it came out kind of like the process and just how it all like um turned out um so yeah i was just like processing all my thoughts and i was like yo like we've came so far as a channel just seeing the fs like parked like right in front of the beer z like right in front of the shop I was just like, yo, like, this is a freaking amazing. And it's like, I owe it to you guys, you know, all the supporters that have stuck around this far. I'm honestly just so grateful for it. And uh, just like moments like these, you know, when we make, you know, like an upgrade or like a bigger accomplishment, I always process it. Like when I'm like alone by myself chilling, I always just like sit there and reflect and just like think about like how grateful and appreciative I am of you guys. So. Um, yeah, I just want to tell you guys because obviously that's kind of like a big, you know, like upgrade, like a step. So, um, yeah, it's just amazing. And this is just a stepping stone, you know? Obviously, like I said in the beginning of the video, I definitely want to upgrade to an even bigger space, you know, when the timing is right. So, just got to trust the process, you know, the trust the timing. But for now, it's honestly such a blessing. Such a vibe.